Hello everybody, this is Bugsy. Let's just say uh some stuff ha some stuff happened. I'm trying to pull myself away from my the loving embrace of my girlfriend. And uh so I could do this video. Uh, Jesus, just get, guys give me a minute please. Just give me a minute, just a few minutes. And my friend and that's my friend Vic. He's not gonna be in this video. But I did want to just talk for a minute, and oh my God, Scott, can you do you even understand the insane dribble that comes out of your mouth? Like seriously, you're straight up social justice warrior. Because like ah, the ranting days for you guys are just over because of YouTube's new policies. Well, actually, not really, because from what I heard, we can still actually rant. It's just the way we do it. You, on the other hand, my Scotty friend, you, you know, no one really cares about your little fight. You get, you get, you're banned, you're banned from Twitter and a whole bunch of other places. You use my girlfriend's freaking online name for a freaking Tumblr, which is his own brand of fucking creepiness. I, I really think you are actually social, you're socially awkward, because basically, you don't, this is, this is not how you talk to another human being. And just, I don't know a guy named Mary Kay. That's, Ann, that's one of Anne's friends. So, and uh, from what she told me, Mary Kay got deactivated, fool. But hey. But it's hard, it's hard because you think everything, everything is against you and you're this hero that will save us all. It pretty much, it shows me that you'll live a sad, sad life. Because you feel the need to, like, fight all these causes because you're bored? Because you feel like you need to? You're the only one that can stop them? Newsflash, motherfucker, you are not a hero. You will never be a hero. And even though you keep convincing yourself that you are one, you have a hero complex. You need to fix that before you actually start hurting people. But no, 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 no. And I ain't gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that I'm a, I'm a psychiatrist, but yes, I looked it up, and yes, you do have the exact freaking definition of a hero complex. How how long is it gonna take before you actually take this way too far and they throw your ass into a loony bin? How far are you willing to go for this stupid little this stupid little crusade you going you're going on just to do what you need to do? It's stupid, it's lame, and it's inane. You need to fucking stop. And this isn't this isn't me just ranting on you as as my persona. It's me ranting on you because you don't understand the difference between fiction and reality and you think you can do all these things, but motherfucker, you haven't done anything. All you are is talk. You keep on talking. You never shut the fuck up and you never let people talk to you. You never let people say anything to you because you're such a stupid asshole. You're so, your ego is so big, even Kanye West is looking at you going like, Motherfucker, you got a big ass ego. I'm Kanye West. I think I'm bigger than Jesus. Oh, I'm going to get on to Kanye West one of these days. Trust me. But for now, but for now, it's you, Scott. Rachel Urbis, did you steal that from another person? I mean, it, it, you just can't, you just can't show, you can't, you just, you are the very definition of a motherfucking coward with a hero complex. You don't do shit, you just talk shit. Like a friend of mine once say, don't talk about it, be about it actually do something but no you're just like those stupid social justice warriors that fight up every little cause but you never want to do anything all you do is sit on your little keyboard type with your little death threats but you never do anything about it I swear Scott if I didn't know any better I'd say really when it comes right down to it you little pussy and you're never gonna change. You're never gonna grow. You're never gonna do anything with yourself just being this crusader 
And you're never going to want to talk to anybody because you can't. You're just, you're too awkward to do so. You know? And you just, you're dumb. You're, you're the epitome of a dumb social justice warrior. You're like the, you're like, whenever I think of a, whenever I think of social justice warriors, that's you in a nutshell. That's you saying, oh, I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb, I think I can take on everyone, I will never try to be normal, but what is normalcy anyway, but I'll still be stupid and think, oh yes, think, I can take on ISIS, and everybody in the world when normally I get my ass kicked, I get my ass kicked, you know I probably get my ass kicked, yes, I get my ass kicked, yes, I get my ass kicked. I get my fucking a ass kicked. That's why I do this because my ass gets mostly kicked every day. So I gotta lash out. Gotta lash out. I gotta lash out on fucking online. I live a sad life, a fucking sad life. But then I try to make myself better by fighting causes to prove that I'm not weak. But when in actuality I am a pussy. Why am I not in the loony bin yet? Because I really show and exhibit some freaking signs of my hero complex. But I will keep moving on anyway. I'll mess with it. I will mess with any the enigma because I have to. Because I'm freaking Scott and I have to. Like, like Jared the motherfucking fox and everybody. Like everybody else, I'm just worse than them in every way. And I will never stop being a fucking loser. Because I'll just keep doing it over. Keep making dead threats, even though I won't do them. And he's fucking fucking stupid. I made a motherfucker almost commit suicide. But I will never freaking take the blame for that. I am, a, I am a stupid idiot that just doesn't use emotions because I don't know. My past is a mystery, but it doesn't matter. I'll keep being a stupid evil bastard because I don't care. No, I don't care. And the one thing I gotta say is that I freaking don't comment to other users constantly trying to make weird threats. While Bugsy just sits here and laughs at his stupid little comments. If we, if Bugsy ever met me, ever met me, he would never try to fight me. Because the truth is, because the truth is, Bugsy pities me, and that's what, and that's why he's only giving me attention. So I'm gonna hold this, I'm gonna hold on to this attention. Yes, it's attention. And I will never let it go because I'm Scott, Scott R Rosenfield, and I will always be the loser that everybody, and I will never be, I will never be a true hero because I'm such a motherfucking pussy, yeah. Scott. Honestly, in a nutshell, that's what you are to me. That's what you are to a lot of people. And you can say all of it. You can say everything that you want. You can say whatever you want. You can freaking threaten me with all the fucking little death threats in the world. But really, at the end of the day, you're nothing. You are nothing. You can't do any of the things you say because you always seem to just... You always seem to say like you got an upper you got the upper hand on me or other people. You don't. You don't even do anything other than type your little fucking soliloquies and think that you're better than everybody else. You're nothing, boy. You're nothing. You don't even you're all you're nothing but talk. You're all bark and no bite. You have you have no you're a freaking vampire with no things. You're a freaking you're a freaking you are you are a freaking viper with no venom. You're a freaking duck. You're freaking a rubber ducky without the squeak. You are. You are the least. You are the least freaking threatening. Even if you fro even if you fucking wore a freaking Sonic EXE mask and said I'm coming for you. 
This is you. This is your life. Do you really think you need to live this? L you think you really think you need to live this way? It's not late. It's not too late in the game for you to change. You can change from this. I don't know what made you this way. What made you start in this path? But it's unhealthy. It is unhealthy. You need to fucking change yourself. You are not the hero that can save us all. Because pretty much most people can defend themselves. And I do help people that can't defend themselves. But actual people that can't defend themselves and they need someone to help them and talk for them sometimes. They need help. But what you do is just constantly say you're going to do all these things, but you never do. And what makes it worse is that you constantly come to my girlfriend like she's going to, like, help you. And, like, I don't know what you're trying to do, trying to muscle in on my, muscle in on my girl. But she doesn't want your stupid, phony hero ass. Let's just say she likes someone a little... She likes someone wonderfully chaotic. With a very, veritable sense of humor. And you're never going to get her attention, so stop with all the notice me senpai shit if you could. Scott, please. Please, there's, it's not too late for you to change. It's not too late for you to freaking grow as a person. Stop this stupid path you're on and try another path. Do something with your life. No, and I mean this. Do something else with your life. This is all you do. Mess with people online. You don't do anything else other than that. Scott, you have to learn from this. Don't be like Jared the motherfucking Fox and Jeff for Justice and all these other motherfuckers. Actually try to change. Try and change your ways. I know this is probably going to not even affect you in the long scheme of things, in the grand scheme of things. But you need to stop this shit. You need to stop this shit before you actually do land up in the nut bend. Or if not, in jail. Because some motherfuckers are going to be like, I don't, I don't like these death threats. And they're going to take you to jail. And then when your freaking cellmate is Big Bob and he's giving you the, he's giving you the runaround, what you going to do then? You're going to say, I'm going to break out of this prison. Ow. I'm going to freaking, I'm freaking going to save the day. Ow. What? Like, seriously. What is it? that makes you function what is it that made you this way god dang Scott you are the most irritating motherfucker in the world and after this video I will no longer make any more videos on you because you don't need attention you don't need an intent you don't need any attention because to me you're just a worthless loser social justice warrior pussy that can't do anything but threaten and type on your little keyboard. Same with Black Bond. You're just you're just that. You're a you're a second rate. You're a second rate social justice warrior at best. And you won't. And I know deep down you'll never change. Until someone until someone, until someone busts down your door. And gets you with all these death threats. You're never going to change. This is just you, Scott the Pussy Man. You're never going to change. So, I humbly ask you to fuck off. Leave Anne alone. Leave her friends alone. Leave everybody alone. Besides, you want to be on this crusade. Be on this crusade by yourself. No one wants to be in the vicinity of you. That is how bad, that's how idiotic and stupid you really are. So, fuck off, wannabe hero. Fuck off. That's what I gotta say. You are, and you always will be, a pussy if you don't change. So, fuck you, and fuck everything you supposedly stand for, because it's not the stuff you stand for, you just want attention. That is all you basically want. You want people to notice you. You want people to freaking know you. 
And trust me, I had that mindset back in the day too, but I grew out of it. Because I know I'm not going to get everybody's attention, but everybody listens to me every now and again because I'll talk, I'll speak the truth about people. And you, you have this just profound assholishness to yourself, probably because shit happened to you and you don't want to talk about it. So you hide behind this mask of being a hero, but really you're not. You're just a keyboard warrior that tries to make himself feel better because he probably, you probably have a shitty, you probably have a shitty life, and the only way you can cope with that is to become this hero, so you don't think your life doesn't work, so you think your life, your actual life, is worth anything, and that's a, that's a dumb way to live. Truthfully, you're never gonna learn anything, you're probably just gonna look at this video and be like, ha 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 ha, and then... Spot out some other stupid shit to me and be like, and I'll be like, what the fuck is your problem? That's gonna, that's always gonna be you, Scott. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, you can't escape your own fate, your own destiny, because you chose this. Not anyone else, not me, not Anne, you did this. To yourself. And you either can change or you can stay being the pussy that you are. It's your choice. I'm not here to tell you what you can and cannot do. But you need to fucking change. Before it's too late, before you get thrown in the jail, thrown in jail or a mental institution, do something with your life. I'm Bugsy, and I'm signing off.